everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Welcome to another episode of I Try Before You Buy. Yes, that means that all these little sewing gadgets that we have been seeing and we want to try to commit to, we want to try these things, even if it's a few dollars, like we might not want to commit because it may seem too good to be true. Trash. Well, I'll be the guinea pig and I'll try it before you buy it. So typically you guys know that when I mark my garments, I don't use Taylor's chalk. Normally I use a sliver of soap. A trusty sliver of soap. Yeah, sliver of soap. Take my sliver of soap. Now I'll take my handy dandy sliver of soap. And I've shown you guys that a million times. I got that from my mom. But have you guys seen these erasable uh, pins for marking fabric? Like you can, it's a pin that you mark fabric and then you can use an iron to get it to go away because I've tried Taylor's chalk and I don't like it. But I used it recently and I just don't like how you have to get it to go away. Like if you're using, only reason I would use Taylor's chalk is on a white garment and then I would use the Taylor's chalk, blue, red, or yellow, but you know, rubbing it off, you have to wash the garment. And like, I don't want to have to wash my garment that I just made because like I thrift. So I washed the clothes before I, you know, made it. So I don't want to have to go through that. So I purchased these. These are heat erasable fabric markers and or fabric pins. And basically what they are supposed to do, they're supposed to replace your chalk and you're supposed to be able to erase them with an iron, just with an iron. So I'm very curious to try these. I just got them. Um, I'll put the link for them in the description box as well as the price I'll put on the screen. It basically comes with a black, blue, red, and white um, pen. And you, it also comes with replaceable infills for two for each pin. So that's essentially 12 pins in one package. So what you're supposed to be able to do is, you know, mark like you're trying to alter your clothes, just like you would use the fabric chalk. And then once you're finished, you're supposed to be able to iron everything and get the marks to go away. All right, so we're gonna try this project on a men's dress shirt. You guys know how much I love upcycling men's dress shirts. So I am going to write on here, if this does not iron out, I am going to be ticked. I'm gonna bet that these work. I think, I think, I'm hoping that these work. So let's try it. All right, so I have all four markers here and I am just going to randomly draw, see if it works. Oh, the black one is a little bit faint, so. That's, the red one works pretty well. All right, blue, let's have, see how the blue one, oh, blue is strong. All right, white, I guess I would have to have a white garment in order to be able to see that. So I guess it's nice to have the white, but you can't really see it that well. All right, so now for the moment of truth. I have the iron, it's hot. Let's see. Ooh! Oh, snap! That, oh my gosh. So you can't even, it'll disappear right away if the fabric is warm. Oh my gosh. Are you guys seeing this? Ooh, snap! This is a game changer. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss anything. And make sure you share this video so everyone knows all the amazing stuff going on here. All right, so let's see how you're supposed to change the... So you just take it out. You would take the tip off, put it back in, and put the cap back on. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right, so time for final thoughts. You guys saw it, like, oh, uh, yes, yes, absolutely. I am so glad you guys will see me use these in the real world on Saturday for Saturday's project. I'm super excited about it, but that project definitely, if I had put pins, like actual stick pins, sewing pins, everywhere where I needed to mark, you guys know how much I stick myself. Ouch! 
So these are gonna keep me from sticking myself so much because I will be able to mark and then just use an iron, which I need to use my iron more, <laughs> use an iron and then just be done with it. I am so excited. I am so excited about this. So definitely let me know in the comments what you want to see me review next and I'll definitely see if I can get my hands on it and I definitely have other videos for you to watch right here as well as all of my I Try Before You Buy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Use Taylor Shark. Taylor Shark. I don't use Taylor Shark. Chark, chalk, 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 chalk. Taylor's chalk. I took me three times to say chalk. All right. So you guys know that typically when I mark my dimer,